your co-star was telling us that there's going to be a love triangle this season, Blaine, Robbie, and Peyton. That's true. There is. Uh, yes, that is true. Um, which doesn't suck because Ali and Um <laughs> The interesting thing is, is Blaine and Robbie are going to have a little fling too. So it's going to be it's going to be jealousy from all angles. Um, yeah, it's a oh, thank you so much. It's gonna be uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun to play with that. And I, I love working with both of them, and uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing what they got cooking up for us. So at, at the end of season two, or coming towards the end of season two, Blaine took what is potentially the cure, but he started to lose his memory. What do you think that we can see for season three regarding that particular side effect? The memory loss. I mean, memory loss. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, it, it's continuing, so you don't really know if he's faking or not, you know. Um, and if he, I know, I know, and I, it, you know, I don't really know or, uh, whether he is or not. But uh, <laughs> and I like not knowing actually, and I'm glad they haven't told me <laughs> because I because so I can play it, it's the truth of it. Um, it is a bit castrating for Blaine. I can say that because Blaine is so fun and he's got these wonderful lines and now that he's like just blank, he's like, what the he's kind of lost in the woods, but it's, you know, it's that, that old soap opera trope, that fun thing to play with. But, uh, the way that you play that memory loss, it's almost unclear if you're actually faking it or not faking it. Yeah. So that's always the thing. Maybe I intended that. <laughs> <laughs> Not speaking, do you think he actually wants his memories back? Um, yeah, that's a, that's, sorry, that's, a, that's a fucking interesting question. Um, that's an interesting question because I guess if he, if he isn't faking it, like he, you know, well, he's you know, he's been told about it, right? Rob, Rob, Robbie told him about it, so he's been in and a with it, but yeah. I don't think he would. Yeah, no way. To hear all this terrible stuff that he's done? Yeah, no way. Yeah, that was, I'm sorry that took so long. That wasn't easy, no. <laughs> but do you see Blaine as being the bad guy, really, or just a little bit more complicated than that? You know, I mean, I've gotten that question a lot throughout the years because all I've ever played is bad guys. It's all I have to draw upon, really, truly. I mean, what? There's been a scant few uh, <laughs> protagonists. Um, uh, shit, what was the question? <laughs> Do you think he's, a real, he's really a bad guy or is it a little bit more complicated? Yeah, it's a little more complicated. And you can't play... You, know, the bad, you can't play it bad, you know what I mean? The, the bad just comes out. You gotta play it like this is, this is his right, you know? He's on the right side of his road. And, uh, uh, and you know he's he's gone through a lot. I mean, he's done a lot of terrible things, but a lot of terrible things have been done to him. And daddy issues, you know, the, the, the nanny issues. Just, yeah, it was nice to see, you know, uh, get filled in a bit, a little bit more about why he is who he is. What's the dynamic going to be between him and Liv this next season? I don't really know. I mean. They've always had this, uh, you know, they kind of, they don't like each other, but they need each other kind of thing. And uh, I think, I think more of that, well, we're going to see more of that. How fun has it been playing this character? Because it's changed so much since the first season. And, like, the way your character has evolved a little bit. Because towards the end, before you took the cure, you were kind of, like, doubting which path you were going to take with the whole cemetery, uh, the old uh, mortuary business with the zombie stuff because there was a little bit of ambivalence in your wanting to partner up with certain people. Yeah. Uh, and, and this, it's, been a, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, of course, as an actor, you want to like diversify your portfolio and play as many different characters as possible. So where you can play a couple different characters within the same character, that's a, only for me. Um, and the weird thing, funny thing about Blaine is 
he's as close to David Anders as any character in the play. I mean, I mean, I've only killed like a couple people, <laughs> but um, so I mean, they they really write for our voices as us really well. I think the writers are really like, you know. Blaine would sound great saying that. You know, it would sound rad saying that. David sounds <laughs> rad. That's why they got me singing all the time. <laughs> Diane, just like, hey, Diane wants to hear me singing all the time. <laughs> Last question? Um, so basically, in the show, as you're saying, that you've played two different characters yeah. now. And so it's kind of an interesting um, look at like nature versus nurture with Blaine. Which do you think it is, at least for him? Nature versus nurture. We've seen two different versions of him, blank slate and... Yeah, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I truly don't. I'm blank. I mean, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Did you simplify it for me? <laughs> like nature versus nurture as far as as far as far his upbringing or...? Well, like if he has a memory loss, how much of him is as Right. What's the left of the Blaine that came out? I think this blank slate Blaine seems like a damn softy sweetheart, you know what I mean? Doesn't he? <laughs> so I mean, that's that's how he started. And then he started getting locked in dog kennels and shit. So nurture. Nurture. <laughs> Short answer, nurture. You can cut that. You can cut that together. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, guys.